So one thing you guys might want to do while you're in Thailand or anywhere in Southeast Asia is shop. And shopping oftentimes includes buying fake stuff, right? Fake shoes, hats, clothes, bags, wallets, whatever. So one of the places to do that here in Pattaya is called Mike Shopping Mall. So I'm take you guys inside. You know, we might do a little bit of a fake shopping spree. I'm gonna check out some sneakers. Might buy some gym clothes. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna try to get as much filming as possible, but they don't really allow filming recorded inside, so we're gonna have to be a little bit sneaky. So y'all gotta be quiet, you know what I'm saying? Shh. Lower your voices. Hello. Quality wise. Like they feel they feel solid. Mm. A little bit of mess up right here though. How much of these? That's probably one thousand One thousand baht? Mm. It's not it's just thirty dollars. Yeah. This uh like eleven? I have only ten. Oh, I can't fit it ten. Too bad. Alright, too small. Too bad. I gotta go to the other one. The tin is way too small. But the quality feels actually decent on those. Or... Oh, I have like just moderate pieces. Oh, those are the only ones we have bigger size? Yeah, I have like just moderate pieces. I'm just not gonna have a label. Oh, and the max is how much of these? 1,000. 1,000? Alright, I might come back and look at those. Look them over here. Damn, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. Bro, something for you. Maybe in a second. Ooh, brother. They got gym clothes over here. Underwear. Yeah, they like these shorts right here, like little gym shorts. So we're gonna ask how much these are. I also some shirts. Oh, it's coming right now. How much are these gym shorts? This two hundred for you. Two hundred? Yeah. Okay. How much? Like, if I buy like three pairs, give me the deal. This is best price. Best price is your man plus customer. What type of shirts do you have? Like gym shirts do you have? Gym shirts? Like shirt, gym shirts. Like to like work out. The short stuff. That's 206 dollars a piece. Okay, I might get some shorts in a second. I'm looking at shoes first. Hey, short, short. See this one though, this one looks like, these look, these aren't the same thing. You have these in 11? For you, huh? Oh, okay. Damn, so they don't have these in like <laughs> the bigger size. What shoes do you have like in the, in like 11? Oh, no, I don't want those. I want canvas. <laughs> I wonder does anybody here have a size 11? Let's or, just go around. Huh? Let's just go around. The low down panda, yeah. Do you have these in uh, 11? Yep, 10. Oh. Yes, I guess everybody's 10. You K 10. Yeah. For that one? Yeah, 11. Yeah. Uh, I'm 11. Yeah, I can't fit it in. Too small. 11, you eight or UK? US. Um, 11 US. 11 US, yes, have. You have? Yeah. How much are these? This one, 1,000 baht. 1,000? All right. Can you? All right, yo. We're trying these on right here. These are the Jordan low tops. I don't know exactly what these are called. But they don't have the pandas in my size. They only go up to like a 10 or a tight 11. So we're gonna try these on. Y'all can see right here. For 1,000 baht, which is like 30 US dollars. 
All right, report the download. Y'all can see they got the Gucci and the Louis, the Louis Vuitton. Y'all can get dripped out of here for the low low. <laughs> Under Armour, Nike, Tommy Hilfiger, Adidas. We might have to mess with some shorts though. I might need a pair of gym shorts. Let's see if we can get a deal. I mean, $6 is a good deal, so I guess I should go ahead and buy some. The track suits. Over here, we got the bags. All right, so just try these on. They got these in 11. So I'm about to get a pair of these and then a pair of the low top pandas. Are you damn right we out here buying fake shoes? Because why not? This is what you do when you're in Southeast Asia. You know what I'm saying? Why spend 150 when you can get it for $30? <laughs> Y'all, these shoes right here for the short guys. Listen, my short kings. <laughs> Y'all need a little uh, height booster? All right, so this is me right now without the shoes. Step into them. They give me about an inch. <laughs> You know what I'm saying now I'm like 6'2. Look at the look how thick these are. They give you that's literally about a about an inch in height. So if you short, you know what I'm saying? You go on your little first date, you want to impress the girl, like, oh my god, you so tall. Where are these where are these right here? <laughs> Take them off, she's like, why are you get so short? <laughs> Without the shoes, <laughs> with the shoes. <laughs> Yeah, I take it for the road. Yeah, I take a glass for the road. People change, you know how it go. Had to rearrange the digits on my phone. Feels like they wanna take the source off of me. Looking at mine like it's your property. When we just tryna bowl properly. I ain't talking small, small, I want all the money. Hooper, all over your city, I'm a hooper. You do me, I'ma do ya. Full time, we gon' see who's the loser, the loser. Amen, hallelujah. Pulling through your city, I'm a hooper. You do me, I'm a do ya. Full time, we gon' see. Alright, you guys, back from the little mini shopping spree. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Alright, let's pull everything out the bag and I'll show you. All right, y'all, so this is the final haul. The reason why y'all see two pair of like the same things is because uh, camera girl wanted to copy me. She thought it would be cute to match me. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> so yeah, so two pair of Adidas slides, two pair of Jordans, and then this pair of Dunks, and then two um, gym shorts, pair of gym shorts, one Nike, one Under Armour. So in total for five pair of shoes and two workout shorts a total of 100 and like 15 dollars i'll put it right there big on the screen for you guys to see so pretty much the cost of five pair of shoes and two pair of shorts is equivalent to what it would cost you to buy one pair of like quote unquote authentic dunks right and so if you guys want to see a side by side let's do some comparison side-by-side -side comparison of a real pair of dunks and a fake pair so in my opinion i feel like only it takes a true sneakerhead to really tell the difference in shoe i'm not a sneakerhead so i can't really tell you guys but we can look at some side-by-side -side things you guys can take a look at like the stitching and the shoe i mean in my opinion it looks pretty freaking close i mean like right here, if you guys can see, I mean, that's a little bit messed up, but the stitching looks the same. We compare the back, very similar. As I said, you're wearing these outside in the club, honestly, anywhere. It would take someone who has nothing better to do with their lives to be like, your shoes are fake. And I don't know what loser has enough time to sit there and analyze people's shoes. Me personally, I don't have time for that. So there's no way of me knowing whether someone's shoes are real or fake. And if they are, who gives a damn? Like, <laughs> it don't change my life. Anyway, so you guys can see. And then this is a pair of authentic ones, which are kind of beat. I bought these about a, this is how you know I'm not a sneakerhead. I bought these shoes like a little bit, like a year ago. Y'all see the conditioner in? That's because I don't care. I actually wear shoes unlike some people that buy them and don't want to wear them. And they're shoes, you know what I'm saying? I mess them up, I'll buy another pair. 
And plus, if I wash these, you know, trim it a little bit, it'll look better. But anyway, I've, these have been put through the work. This is a pair of Yeezys I bought a few months back. These are also fake. These were only 800 baht, which is like $20. Same place, Mike Shopping Mall. Once again, not something you would realize unless you just knew. And then last but not least, these are fake. I had to buy these uh, for an emergency situation. <laughs> Me and my friend were trying to get in the club. I had on, I had on like uh, slides and they wouldn't let us in with that. So he was like, let's go buy some shoes off the street. And I found these. Now, these I can't tell because I've never seen this color pattern, like just myself. So I don't even know if like the tan bottoms is standard or what. If you guys know, let me know. Are the tan bottoms standard or do they give it away? Are these supposed to be white? I don't have a clue. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to see while I'm here in Thailand or anywhere else in the world. Until next time, peace out.